you can also use Microsoft Clip Temp to record screens. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here on to record and create. And over here, you can see that screen is an option. If I were to go around and click on screen right here, then you see the recorder button over here on the bottom. So you might also get a prompt to uh, uh, allow uh, Clip Temp to use your microphone. So you have to allow that too. So once you do that, in order to start recording, you can press the big red record button right here, click on it, and then this is what you have. You can go around and select a screen that you wish to record. So I have two screens and that is why you can see screen one and screen two. Let's say I want to uh, record screen one, then you can simply select screen one. You can also share system audio right here and you can also go around and select out, um, uh, let's say, a window right here. Up if you want to record a particular, let's say, uh, window like a do Word document, then you can do that as well. You can also go around and then select out tabs right here as well. If you're using the web version of ClipChamp, then you'll have an option for tabs as well. But let me just go around onto entire screen right now and click on screen one right here as my selection and click on share. So once you do that, you can see that it says uh, uh, sharing right here. So let me just go around and hide this. And now my screen has started to record. So if I were to go around and move this aside, you can see that this is Microsoft Word and whatever I'm doing right now is being recorded. Let me just go around and expand this and stop the screen record. Share. So once you do that, you can see that it says, uh, uh, so then you can click on save and edit. Then you can see that you have your screen recording right here. And the good thing about this is you can go for uh, captions and turn on auto caption as well, just like this. After selecting the language, it analyzes the video and creates out auto captions based on the video over here, just like this as well. So you can see that it is analyzing and there you go. The auto caption is turned on. And with the video, there's the caption around over here that you can use as well. So I'm going to go around on to a screen record as well. And let me just click on record again. And now I'm going to go to window and select Word document. If I were to click on share, now what happens is that only the Word document is being captured. So whatever I do in Word document is there. If I were to go around and resize Word document right here, you can see that I'm resizing it and I'm minimizing it around over here. And if I were to click on share, now what happens is that only the Word document is. And if I were to click on save, now you can see that this is the Word document around over here. And at the end, you can see that when I resize the Word document, it just focused on that area right here. And just for this as well, you can see that automatic captions has been created. And that is how you can go around and then record out your screen inside of ClipChamp. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.